graffiti outside JC's kitchen went viral last November. The message criticized the Black Lives Matter movement. CBS North Carolina's Kelly Kennedy joins us now in our studio. And Kelly, you were there today as they began transforming that wall. That's right, Justin. The message angered many Durham residents, but they used that energy to create something beautiful, and they're calling it a wall of love. On Sunday, volunteers picked up their paintbrushes and went to work outside of JC's kitchen. When I came in today and, and I saw all of this, you know, I just began to cry. On the day after the election, Phyllis Terry came outside to find hateful language on the wall behind her restaurant. But today, the community came together to make it a wall of love. And the graffiti read that black lives does not matter, neither does their vote. Terry says when she got to work that morning and saw the graffiti, she decided she'd deal with it later. But not knowing that the uh, your Campbell crew and along with some others had passed by and it hit viral. Many people in Durham, like the Waldorfs, wanted to find a way to turn a negative into a positive. They spoke with Terry and together they created a GoFundMe page to raise money to create a mural in place of the graffiti. She had the same vision that this wall could be something more, could be something that brings the community together versus tearing it apart. They enlisted the help of local artist Gerard Staden. I grew up here and so seeing such a hate-filled thing first of course took me by complete surprise um, but what didn't really take me by surprise is how much the community jumped in and said that we aren't tolerating this. Terry says if it wasn't for the graffiti, she never would have made so many new friends. Thank and you, Miss Terry. And they are <laughs> wonderful. That I had promised uh, you all throughout that we would take what they gave us as a lemon and we made lemonade. The group says they plan to add more to the wall in the coming weeks. We'll let you know when they're painting again and how you can help. Justin.